Mamma mia, here I go again. I sadly wake up and I have no friends. But I found this cool cat outside. He's got like no eyes because he's like dead. But he's still pretty cool. He just, he's chilling on my couch. So there you drop a like for dead cats. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wonderstruck. Today, I came across something at a bit of a relic of time five years ago of this video that just really, it took my brain cells and it like put them in a, in a ninja blender and, and tried Chopped it up, you know, it just really hurt my head. It's what's the fucking name of this? Not even the most intensive electric shock therapy could probably make me forget this video. Yet I can't remember the fucking title of it. Oh yeah, that's right. Here it is. How to get your man to give you money. So pretty much a uh, a tips and trick guide from uh, Hastings. I don't know if any of y'all remember that. On uh, how to get passive income from your significant other. Pretty fucking scummy thing to do, if uh, if you ask me. We're gonna go ahead and hop into this video. If you do enjoy, feel free to drop a like and subscribe also don't go after these people don't be a fucking idiot piece of shit uh, like most of my shit's satirical just don't go after these people even if i personally find these mindsets really bad just don't do it don't be that guy you're not a hero you're just you're a you're a zero because you're fucking dumb <laughs> This video is going to be about flipping the script. Ladies, yes. a lot of people have been asking, how do you ask your man for money? How do you uh, get money out of a man? How do you get them to pay for stuff? Well, it's pretty simple how you get money out of people. It, it, it's a high risk, high reward type thing. So there's this crazy thing, this technique that the French invented called uh, armed robbery. It's, it's pretty, once you get it down in the hang of it, it's pretty easy to get money, not just out of men, but out of like everyone. You got to trick people these days, okay? And it's, it's sad, but this is what it's come to. Men do not want to act like gentlemen anymore. Men do not want to play the provider role anymore because they have been taught that you're not supposed to do that. Men don't want to be doing this anymore. They've been taught not to. No, I don't think it's that. It's that I just think that it's like there's been such like a surgency of equality that the stereotypical, oh, you're a man, you have to pay for all my shit mentality has kind of gone out the window. Like in a world where we encourage most chicks to be like, hey, Hey, yo, be your own independent person. Get your own, like, paper. All that fun jazz. It's it's becoming more and more of a norm for that to not be the case. For, like, two people to be providers. For people to have jobs, you know? For, like, two, a couple that both have, like, jobs. It's becoming more and more normal. In my personal opinion, I, thi I think that's kind of fucking cool. But, you know, I I'm trying to learn how to make some passive income here. By nature, women are receivers, men are givers. Okay, so, when something goes wrong in nature, what do they do? They experiment and they do run tests and they say, hey, why is this going wrong? We need to fix it. And a lot of times they'll take, you know, insects or animals and they'll put them in a different environment under di different circumstances to see if they'll revert back to the way that they were supposed to be naturally. What the fuck are you talking about? You're out here talking about scientists messing with like anthills and shit. They're like, yeah, so sometimes in nature when things get, get a little bit fucking weird, they like take animals and like move them together and then they like, uh, they, they start doing things to see if they'll revert back and, uh, this is how you, this is how you steal your boyfriend's wallet. Like, <laughs> Where are you making these connections? So if you don't want to pay on a date, don't bring your purse, okay? Don't bring your wallet. First of all, they're gonna think you're bringing a purse, but they don't know there's a wallet in there. So when you get to wherever you need to go, you order whatever, and they ask you to split the bill. Oh, well, I'm so sorry, I left my wallet at home. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Uh, <laughs> there, your food's paid for. If you don't wanna pay on a date, don't bring your purse, don't bring your wallet. Damn, that's crazy. Well, there's this crazy concept called separate checks. If I were to find out that I went on a date with someone and they intentionally didn't bring their wallet because they were like, no, this dude's gonna pay it all for me homie i would be i would bounce and be like nope you enjoy that farewell you know you go wash some dishes in the back or some shit she's taking like oh nature these guys you know are naturally supposed to be giving me free shit like where in nature have you seen fucking like people rolling up to denny's you know and shit like that so now you need some money and you've been dating this guy he's your boyfriend but he's he never gives you anything okay he's not putting in you know his dues you know yeah he might take you to the movies or whatever but you know he's not giving you any extra spending money to make yourself beautiful for him right your friend down the street her she's not even as cute as you but her boyfriend is giving her money like you deserve some too right so let's get 
let's let's get into it how do you get money from a man okay so this right here just opens up the true character the true nature of this lady she's like oh well i'm beautiful i deserve some money you know because she's like oh your friend down the street she's not as good looking as is you but she's getting money where's my money for being attractive okay first off you're not fucking entitled to money if you want money and you want to buy things unless you have something that is severely preventing you from doing so that is up to you you want a fucking playstation go get a fucking dog ass job and get you know work for that shit you don't just get shit just because you have good features you know unless you are like a contracted model like that is your job like you are a fucking model or some shit like that then yeah get paid to look good but if if you're just sitting around the fucking house throwing on green eyeliner and shit like that and you're like oh yeah i'm a bad bitch where's my five hundred thousand dollars well he takes me to the movies sometimes but he doesn't pay my fucking rent yeah because maybe this guy you know was under the notion that you're a fucking adult <sighs> Well, you cut him off sexually, duh. So you say, oh my God, I'm so stressed out about this problem that I'm having. I need some money. I need to go, you know, I need to pay this person back to make up something. It doesn't even matter. If you want $100, make up something. I owe my mom $100. She's just bugging me. I'm stressed. I'm, I'm, I gotta go get another job because I have to pay her back $100 a month because I borrowed something from her and it ain't true. So, okay, so if, if you want payment for that kind of stuff, there's a job market for it. It's just, in most places not legal uh, you know if that's really what you want and, and again it's just like oh yeah let me let me fucking manipulate the goodwill of this dude but this is how you get your nail and hair money or whatever and i'm just so stressed out i'm thinking about going to wait tables at one of the little men's gentlemen's club because they said that they make a lot of tips and i only have to work one night a week he's gonna be like dang she's gonna be working with strippers just to get a hundred dollars to pay her mom back every month no let me go ahead i, I got you i'll give it to you first of all if you say I have to go get a second job at a strip club as a waitress especially if you have a body to, to, to do that kind of stuff so they're gonna be like no I don't want you in that environment you don't have to do that I'll give you the hundred dollars guarantee the type of people who say this shit like go and bitch on Twitter like man why can't I find a good man <laughs> if a chick told me she was like yeah I gotta go get a job to, to pay for this I'd be like okay cool you know like i would think oh this this is a chick taking initiative i i think most dudes there, there's definitely dudes who are like nah bro i want to be the breadwinner of the house you know what Fuck it, you do you but for me personally like i find chicks who can pay their fucking bills and be an adult way more attractive than someone who wants to fucking lie and shit like that for nail money for nail and hair money they say well this is every month so i'm gonna you know i'm gonna need that extra help every month are you sure like pretend like you don't even want him to give you the money no baby it's okay I'll go get that job you know what uh, those men in there they're drunk they're horny they're gonna give money you know <laughs> Like it's water, they got money. Make him feel like less than a man and he'll give you that money. Be like, you know, I don't wanna take your money, I can take their money. So now that puts you in an environment where you can meet a rich man or a man with more money than them. Okay, first off, I've got nothing against people working in strip clubs. Definitely, like if that is your cup of tea, you know, like if that's what you wanna do and you and your significant other are like totally chill with that, it's not my fucking business. But if you're intentionally doing it to like make a homie feel insecure. Make him feel like less than a man. There's no other way to work. It, you're, you're just a piece of shit like if you're like oh yeah dude i want to go do this you know just so you can get extra money out of this dude you're you're just like attacking a dude's insecurities and i know some people will make the argument like oh well you know what well, why would you be insecure if you're stable like bro i'm not gonna lie like i think most dudes would be kind of uncomfortable if they knew their girlfriend was like ain't fucking underwear or lingerie around a bunch of drunk fucking dudes like it's like it goes back to like the same mentality where people get surprised that like if a chick's like oh i want to start an only fans and, and a guy's like no and i'm not i don't really want to date someone who has an only fans they're all of a sudden like some piece of shit like no it's just called having boundaries and shit like that if that's what you want to do for sure fucking do it doesn't mean your significant other has to fucking support it you know it's a two-way fucking street i don't see why that's like such a fucking hard concept you don't look like you know you can pull off being a waitress in a strip club or getting the attention from a certain type of men then you insert someone else in his spot put your ex-boy in it but not directly indirectly my ex-boyfriend's cousin name a girl or my ex-boyfriend's 
mother, she always told me if I ever needed anything, I could come to her. If he knows that you're gonna go borrow money from an ex-boyfriend's mother or a cousin or whatever, he's gonna feel like they have money and she'll try to talk you back to going with her son or he, you might accidentally see him while you're over there or she might call and tell, oh, she needs money. She must not be with any type of, you know, decent man because she's coming to me for money. Okay, so go back to go back to your ex. Okay, first off, now, now you're just manipulating not even like your current boyfriend, but like a fucking ex. Like you're trying to throw in all this just for, in your mind, $100. Getting a job and being 12 12 times more respectful as a person is apparently too hard to fucking do, but but doing this elaborate James Bond shit, you know, this fucking Walter White Heisenberg, like, ah, oh, the big twist at the end, the big reveal. The intricacy of this is just so fucking dumb. The desire to fucking just not be a decent person is so much more effort than to just be a normal functioning member of society and to not be a piece of shit. It, it's, it's literally making my head spin. You're like, all right, we're we're gonna, we're gonna call up the ex and we're gonna go to the ex's mom. And so this reaction will cause this reaction. The boyfriend will have to think so-and-so. Like, you are League of Legends strategizing here. Like, you're getting fucking crazy with this, dude. 90% of the time, they never find out, okay? 90% of the time, they don't think it's a game. They won't even question you. Because women are so talented at putting so much detail into the game, they just believe it. Whatever the problem is, it's not even a problem. Okay, this is a way to get what you want. It's called manipulation. I'm not ashamed to, to say manipulation works because everyone knows manipulation works. Okay, if your morals are so high and so above this and this and that, why are you with a broke guy and why are you complaining about it? It should only be about love. So, if you have a problem with manipulation and tricking guys, but you want money from a guy, this, 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 and that but you're not willing to do to get what it takes by tricking him because you know he's not going to give it to you any other way then you don't really want that money <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll see, that's the, that's the thing, is that most people who have high morals, which I don't even think that that's like, oh, I'm holier than fucking thou, I think that's just status quo, to be like, oh, I don't want to manipulate people and use them and only want them for their money, to be like, oh, well, if, if you have such good morals, why are you with a broke guy? You just answered the fucking question yourself, like, oh, if you have good morals, yeah, because you have good morals, because there's this crazy concept of being with someone, not because of a paycheck or a lifestyle that they provide of being with them because of the way they make you feel it's it's not a wild fucking concept maybe i just don't fucking get it maybe i maybe i'm dumb as shit i swear to god this video is gonna sound like a like a fucking emergency alert system with how many blurs i have to put in this shit anyways we're not gonna watch the entirety of the video because it's essentially this type of shit just regurgitated over and over hope you guys enjoyed it was really fun to have you here if you liked the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below as it does help out the channel uh, make sure to follow me on twitter and instagram down below and make sure to send me a picture of your pet so I can retweet it. Anyways, without further ado, I'll be here next Wednesday and you take it easy. Farewell. Bye-bye. I got the Pringles can and I didn't even use it once throughout this video. But disappointment to society. Unlike my dad, who's a disappointment to sobriety.